Hey everybody, this is Vox Incender. Welcome back to more Pax Nova. Where do we have a citizen? Alright. We're over here. Uh, I'm gonna actually have you because I see it right here. Where is the traction? Yay, more titania. That will be good. Other than that, I think our first goal is to. Where to go? Do I have anyone going to Dakalore? Did I see the sun? Yeah, so I'm already on there, so never mind. Alright. What I'm saying is, we are pretty much going to start setting up a <clears throat> blockade of Caprius 4 now. Because not only do we want. Six. Because both the Muhai industry and the Templar Order are here, and the Templar in particular only have the one city on the one planet, so that's good. The Koran also staying where they are, but they've got, that's because they kind of have to. It does say, though, I think, I'm going to have to double check this when, if I ever play them, but I think they can't build settlers, but I imagine that means they can still, um, you know, take over other people's cities. But they, they do not have much might, so taking them out will be fairly easy. The Aeon Cult will be our allies eventually. The Arban Domain is our enemies, and they're... So we want, we want to get figure out what they are as soon as we can. Ten Republic, we're already getting ready to get rid of. Let's see if the Aeon are willing to... We have a proposition. They have Uridium, man. Not aggression? No. No. Share map. No. Well, whatever. Um, so we can set up... Because the question right now is, do we want to go to war right away? The answer which is, I mean, not really. <laughs> We're, we don't really want to... Um, the the um, Terrans, who we would be going to war with first, are very dug in right now. They, are, they have a lot of units, and I don't think we have enough right now to take them out. Inferno Flamethrower. Let's see if that created a new designer, just upgraded our old one. Uh, nope, just upgraded Inferno Flamethrower. So that's 95 damage, most effective against units, and can cause burns. So that'll be pretty fun. That'll be a fun little guy to play with. Um, going... What the hell? We're totally fine with. This is just you. You continue to look around. Might as well actually just put him on. Um, auto explore. Uh, Declan 1 is just a... We don't have anything up here. Um, we probably should have, like, you know, built some vanguards a while ago so that we could be exploring this place. I may or may not have completely forgotten that it existed. <clears throat> also, since these are this is their only city, um, which we just established, you know, that might be worth getting rid of them sooner, as soon as we can. Let's see, Applied Bionics helps our infantry, heavy duty, better, yeah, yeah, let's get it. heavy duty guns. Okay, and we have another settler, or another person. I think, actually, what we really need to do is, where are you, defense district? Oh, despite the fact that there is a guy standing on there, which is kind of annoying. But that's all right. Okay, now why is it saying we don't have enough armicata? Because we weren't trading. Okay, wait. I need to check something. When we traded, tracked. Yes, we have a sister for you. Uh, if we offer pyrite, we don't. We don't have enough. Um. 
Okay, wait, let's go. Uh, if we offer Osmium, like say, this is just confirm six. We offer six. Yeah, we're just offering six. It's not per turn. So I don't know why it's saying we don't have enough Ermacata. Like, what did, what would we be using it for? I'm very confused. But let's have these guys start exploring a little bit. Search the ruins. Hey, now we got some old mushrooms. I should pay attention because if those go away right away, then we know we're spending it on something, whether we mean to or not. I don't know. Still it? All right. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the heck was up with that. Surprisingly, since they only have the one city, it's fairly big. Playing in them is probably going to be... would be annoying. I don't know. Maybe eventually. I, th I think this is going to be like... I think my basic plan is that this is going to be the last, last run I do of this batch. And then after that, I'm, I'll do another run once the game gets an update. Because I feel like at this point we've shown off most of what the game has to offer. Not to say that it... I mean, it's a 4X game. There's always new things to find. There's always new combinations. But in general, I'm not going to put everyone, have everyone else sit down and watch it. Um, we want... We want sniper squads. Should we just get some sniper squads? Kinetic. Oh, what is um artillery is now eighty five, and that's good against buildings. So I think yeah, we're gonna get two artillery tanks. We're gonna put one here and one here. Those are the only places we can get a G or within the two spot to shoot them right away. Um, and we have a mining chip. Um, do we have? So we got some pyrite. Don't really care. Iridium. Don't really care. Of course, I would love titanium. Titanium would be the best. Do you ever see them? I seem to have a whole lot of options, though, on what I want to buy. Iridium, Ulysium, or some pirate. How much pirate am I getting per turn? None. Eh, alright. We'll have you move over and start uh, mining that. It seems like a worthwhile endeavor. What's that? Two... They can't move through my ships, can they? Like, if they can, I'm totally fine with it, but... Like, we can't move through our ships, so... I'm confused there. Yeah, these guys are back over here. Get some... Kill the... Kill the creeps. Oh yeah, we were building up some more units. Uh, don't feel like we have enough. What's the possibility? So, oh, also I should make sure that um, not you guys, basically everybody else, and particularly yeah. You can be upgraded. 50 more damage. That is significant. If I absorbed Yastrin, or whatever it is, Istara, that would be a, that's a pretty good city. Got a lot of industry. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to assimilate them. And then we're going to look. They've already built their mines. Good. Alright, so let's start you guys off building some more artillery tanks. Man, you guys can build stuff fast. Uh, robotic farmer. Yeah, sure. Oh, they already had one. Just the one. Just can't really do anything I want to with them. Oh, and increase mines. 
Shock Trooper, Shock Trooper, Titanium Tank. What's my money at? Meh. So I think once we get back up to um, six, we're going to we're going to declare war. I think we'll be ready by then. Space Mantas. And you can go up there. Ruins found. What do we have? Baddies. That's what we have. Inrigger apparently out here somewhere. Uh, Ethereum and a one for yeah. That sounds yeah sure. Or wait, that annoys me. But yeah. Also, just because I want some of that, I need to. I want to start setting up some um, hospitals. Hospitals help growth. All right. So at this point, I can get biotics, but I don't think I really want to. We're gonna go for planetary governing. More <laughs> corruption, which is kind of fun, but mostly for the um, extra cities. Oh, and institute industrial fertilizer. Adjacent, so improves fire district to industrial district. That's not bad. March rockets. Eh, we can't really make too much use of them now. Look at the fertilizer. That seems useful. Uh -uh, I wish I could send a delegation, but that's going to take a while. But you are still good to hold position. trying to think of <laughs> I mean all things considered like getting like actually maybe we want to just take these guys out just look at each split it's as fast as we can I kind of want to put I wish I could put a unit in there just to make sure that they don't their um, vassals can't build units for them because that would annoy the crap out of me I mean, unless there's a way to convince your um, vassals to do that for you. Which would kind of make sense, I mean, you think that would be a thing that they would do for you. It's like, oh yes, we're, we're in a war, we should make some units. But we're prepping for a war, we still need those units. Uh, trading company, you don't know what you do. Nothing much. Oh, hey. I don't think I remember these guys had, like, spokespeople. Kind of fun. Uh, not a heavy tank, that's a heavy tank. Not that great. Part of me is like, okay, so we... Hmm. Yeah, we need to also, yeah, let's get some more. We kind of just want defensive stuff up here, so I think I'm going to build a titanium tank. Right away. Maybe like some Dragoon tanks, since those are pretty effective. Shock Trooper, Shock Trooper's titanium tanks. Artillery, artillery, sniper. And I'm going to have you also build another Dragon tank. For some reason, I really want to call them Dragoon Tanks instead of Dragon Tanks, even though, again, there's only one O. What was, what was that? No. Guard. Enter. My research apparently really wanted to double there for some reason. I, mean, I would be very happy with my research doubling, but... That's not usually how it works. Uh, we got two citizens. What can we do? We can get... Um, I think I kind of honestly... Like, it's not going to help me as much as I want, but I'm going to get the extraction district and get that pyrite going. And then, over here, 
we're pretty content. So we're gonna build an embassy with the Aeons, because they don't like us quite as much as the other guys. So we'll have that ready, and that also increases our influence growth, because, you know, that's important. Actually, I guess we should send the tank over here. <laughs> Sniper, shoot. Hero Confederation. They're going to heavy hand, which could mean that they are setting up for some um, military spending. Or it could just mean that they, I don't, you know, I don't always know what the AI, no one ever knows why the AI does what it does. Nomad Squad, alright, let's get these started to pick it. Uh, I guess I'll do a little more exploring. Alright, have you get up over there. Eight turns to get there. Buy that. Two sniper scouts. Buy them both. And just have you just chill out. What was that? Trying to destroy the mountains over there? Okay, so I can go to Air 9. Or can I get anything that gets me. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to get political master class, and then we're going to go up to the next era. Uh, another institute. You have mind wave implants. That's not bad. Ooh, these. What? I, these. I want these a lot. I want these enough to put everything. Send everything back by making. Sending those over. Also, grab that. Just for, oh, I don't have the money for that. Crap. Oh well. And I think, what I'm thinking right now, is that I am going to go for the these guys first before I take on the Terrans, because we've got plenty of space, and that will take us a good amount of time, because we still, it's still going to take us quite a bit to get, it takes us ten turns to get to the six we need to declare war. Time just, I mean, the Terrans might declare war on their own. How do they feel about me? Terrans, they respect me quite a bit. They're impressed with our technology and our military strength, but they don't trust me for very obvious reasons. And they don't have an affinity for us. Most borders are causing tensions. I'm not entirely sure when you got hurt. <laughs> You guard. Shock trooper. I do need to remember that I'm not attacking Ma Madarak. I want to see what happens when it's the only city they have left. For science! take over here. And you can come back down. Oh, can you get through there? I see you can. Yeah, you can. Okay. And snipers. Um, we have our first snipers. I'm going to have our snipers, like, get ready to take them out right away. Let's see what else we can, um, build by the time. We're going to declare war. No more useless planets. You go up there, because then you guys can run in. And just exploring, see what else we can 
find... We found, already found two institutes. Institutes are fun since they get, give you those technologies. Uh, I'm going to actually have you stand over there. Right where the tank is right now. Political masterclass. Alright, and even more growth. Research up to Aramon. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Let's get out of here! Um, do I have... Yes, finish the Path of Embers. So all units get 25% damage when attacking, and all units get a base bonus health of 15%. Good. Good. Just exploring around a little bit right now. Space miners, eh. I guess we'll have them go for... What's what's on that planet? <laughs> the mushrooms. No, I'm not gonna spend that on the mushrooms. Uh, I think we're gonna mine next to our buddy's uh, Starbanks. We're gonna mine this Eurasium. No, we're gonna mine. What are we gonna mine? That's gonna mine that. There. Like to find. Always, always on the lookout for more. Always be on the lookout for more habitable planets. Even if you're not going to take them, they're still useful. I got some more space to bring, at least. And what are we in the ruins? Search the ruins. Trap. Over there, what is my mouse wheel doing? Can you just have you guard? Well, yeah, these guys have like no defensive units, so I'm in a pretty good shape if I when I decide to take them out. Which again seems weird because it because I would think that they would be able to get um they would want to be aggressive like that would be how they expand. But, I don't know. I don't know if just blow you up right now. I kind of want... Okay, so I want the flame tank to be first. Snipe them on the first turn. Oh, and we've got another one. So let's get another embassy because why not? We don't have enough. We don't have enough influence. Never enough influence. And we just have you guard. Good, you guard. Alright, and I think that we'll cover it for this episode. So, as we search these debris and find nothing, nothing at all. Um, this has been Box Insanity with Pax Nova. If you're liking the series, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Helps out quite a deal. And I will see you guys next time. Well, not quite next time. And next time. Bye. <laughs>